Platte County is updating its COVID-19 restrictions. Starting tomorrow, restaurants and bars can stay open until midnight. They've been forced to close at 10 p.m. for the past two months. This order is similar to the other orders passed this week in Kansas City, Missouri, Clay and Jackson counties, and Wyandotte County, Kansas. Right now, more people are eligible to get the COVID-19 vaccine in Missouri. This includes the Grandview Police Department. In fact, officers there shared these photos of them receiving their first dose at Belton Regional Medical Center. Now, despite that, the plan to expand vaccinations in Missouri is already hit a snag. KMC 9's Michael Mahoney reports the expansion is based on Missouri supply increasing, but that's not happening right away. Expanding the vaccinations is based on expanding supply. Missouri Health Director Randall Williams says they were expecting their weekly allocation would be growing significantly soon. That will not occur, that we will continue to get a, a little more than we're getting now, which is going to be about 80,000 doses a week. But effective today, a new set of Missourians, primarily in the emergency and critical services field, are eligible. Starting Monday, Missourians 65 or older or people with at-risk health conditions, and that includes pregnancy, become eligible. That's two and a half million Missourians. That if our steady supply is 80,000 doses a week, that uh, we will, uh, it will take time to march through that population. Many Missourians are going to be asked to sign up in some fashion for the shot. A lot of the vaccine will be given in a provider office, a doctor, a pharmacy. Federally qualified health clinics and public health departments are two other likely sources. But again, supply is everything. Williams says Missouri has pretty much finished vaccinating its long-term care residents and their workers, so that will free up some doses. But Missouri was expecting a significant increase in its supply soon, and he says that is not happening. Michael Mahoney, KMBC 9 News. Now you can find out what phase you fall into by visiting MoStopsCovid.com. If you are in phase 1B, tier 2, contact your pharmacy or doctor to learn when vaccines will be available and how you can get one. So what's next for vaccinations in Kansas and when can people in the next phase of the state's vaccine plan sign up to receive shots? KMBC 9's Jackson Kurt spoke with Kansas health officials in our area to learn what people in phase 2 can expect. Well, state officials in Kansas are leaving up to the counties for when they can enter phase two of the vaccination plan. And officials here in Johnson County say folks could receive the vaccine in phase two as soon as early February. That is if they get it in time. People have you know, they frequently call us. Is it time yet? Is it time yet? County health officials in Kansas are eagerly waiting for more COVID-19 vaccine doses to start phase two of the vaccine plan, which includes people over 65 years old, people who live in a group setting and high contact critical workers. The biggest uh, variable here is how much vaccine will be available for us. Health officials in Johnson, Wyandotte and Douglas counties want people who fall into phase two of the plan to fill out information online so they can be notified when the vaccine is ready and where they can receive it. When we get the vaccine and we feel confident that we can say on this day from between these hours, we're gonna have a clinic, we'll open that up. The good news also is we are not the only provider in the community. Uh, we had meetings with our hospitals and they have clients in this age group. Uh, they're also going to be um, using the vaccines. In Johnson County, I'm Jackson Kurtz for KBC 9 News. And once counties know the amount of vaccine doses they'll be receiving from the state, then they'll be able to start scheduling appointments for people in phase two. Now, as vaccine efforts ramp up, new cases in Kansas and Missouri are going down. In Missouri, the seven day rolling average is down to 2200. In Kansas, 4000 new cases have been added since Wednesday. In Kansas, the monthly positivity rate is down to 11.2%. In Missouri, the positivity rate is down to 15.2. We are now closing in on one year of the pandemic exhausting our frontline workers. KMBC 9's Laura Mort shares the story of a chaplain at Truman Medical Center who in the face of death is helping people find peace. I'm definitely not the person I was before COVID. We're doubling our deaths and um, we're at every death. Nothing has shaken so, Chaplain Jeff Howard's so faith in God, but he's had some real questions for him. So there have been times. I said, God, why did you do this? Why did you let this to happen? At the start of the pandemic, there was a lot of fear. There's people who are so brave because they would stop me and say, Chaplain, will you pray for me? I've, 
I don't know what's going to happen to us. Truman Medical Administration asked to turn the hospital chapel into a PPE storage room. Chaplain Jeff didn't hesitate giving up this sacred place. To me, the chapel is the best spiritual place for anyone in the hospital. Chaplain Jeff can't counsel COVID-19 patients face to face only over the phone. It's the nurses, he says, that bond with critically ill people, so they are not alone, especially at the end. They were pulling open uh, iPads so they could talk to their family, and they're holding these iPads for them, so they're getting to know family, and then they're seeing them die. Through all the devastating loss this pandemic has caused, Chaplain Jeff finds hope in human tenderness, yet still questions when this pain will end. It doesn't shake my faith in God, it, it actually deepens it, but there are days where I say, okay, you done yet? Laura Moritz, KMBC 9 News.